This video is brought to you by Best Buy. Good morning, y'all. It's full on autumn right now, even here in Vegas. It can get chilly out here, so let me show y'all what I've been rocking a lot lately. But first off, we gotta take care of this monstrosity right here, so we gotta get ready. Which, by the way, I've been shooting a lot with this lately. This is the Canon EOS R8, and I got this from the Content Creator Kit, which you can get at Best Buy, which I'll talk about later in this video, but yeah, I've been enjoying this setup a lot. As you can see, the hair gets crazy if I don't do it. First off, we're gonna need to get the hair wet. All right, so as you can see, hair is pretty wet. It's much more Pliable. But if you have dry hair like I do, or you just went through a perm recently, you're also going to be experiencing this problem of poofiness, dryness. And so ideally, you always want to go for that wet look. Now, I enjoy pomade to achieve that wet look, but lately I've been using this thing called foam tonic, sort of like a foam mousse type thing. So now you want to grab your blow dryer with this attachment. This is going to provide texture. You can't just use your hands only. You don't need a blow dryer, but we're going to roll with one today. All right, so that's not bad, but once it dries, you might get some flyaway hairs and all that, because you're only gonna have a little bit of a wet look. So what you wanna do is add some coconut oil. Not only is this good for your hair, it's gonna make your hair smell good. That's not bad if I do say so myself, even though I might throw a beanie over it eventually, because that's just part of my uniform. So now let me show you my jewelry stack and the importance of having one. All right, for our first pieces of jewelry, we got these two minimal rings right here from Lupin. And so why I love these and why it's part of my jewelry stack is because they're super minimal, which means they can be paired with anything. So as you can see, we stacked them right there. It looks really, really nice. And I always have to have something on my wrist. So on my right side, we have this watch bracelet. It's like your standard watch band, basically. And I always have to have a necklace on because I feel like my collarbone area is just, it feels naked without something. So we're gonna throw on this one right here. I don't know, it's the same way. I have that problem of not wanting to leave the house without a necklace bracelet, just jewelry in general. You've got to have a beater watch, a daily watch that still looks good and that's going to go with any style and that's why I'm rocking this gold Casio watch. And yes, you can mix your metals. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't. When you got a jewelry sack, you don't have to think about it, especially if it's a casual one. You see, I'm just wearing a tank top right now with jewelry and that already looks somewhat put together. That's how important jewelry is. You don't even have to try if you're rocking jewelry and you can go pretty affordable as well. But yeah, now let's break down some of my favorite fall fits I've been loving. So this first outfit, I feel like anybody can appreciate because it's something anybody can pull off. It's just an all black fit and we'll start with the lower half of the body. So for our trousers, we have the Om Police by Ismiyaki pleated trousers. And these are the cargo versions, which there's no cargo pocket, which kind of doesn't make sense, but it does have a different look than the straight pair of the pleated trousers, which is why I prefer this one. There's a little slits that acts as the quote unquote cargo pocket and it does add some visual interest to the fit. It does have a slight taper, which is why I paired it with these black leather Chelsea boots. These come from Coach. And so for our upper body, we're still rocking the tank top I was wearing earlier just because it layers so well underneath this leather jacket from Boda Skins. This has a slim fit look to it and now we have a juxtaposition of sizing. So we got the wide fit trousers juxtaposed against the slim fit leather jacket. But now moving on to my next favorite fall fit I've been rocking. As you can tell, it's much more casual. So we start with the upper half of the body with the denim jacket, which I got from my dad. I've talked about this jacket plenty of times. He gave it to me for free. It was like 40 bucks or something in the 80s when he got it. And they honestly don't make them like they used to. But yeah, it's got a wide boxy fit with a slight drop in the shoulders. It looks awesome. And that's layered over a black hoodie. Then we got some black cargo pants from Fried Rice. I cuffed the cargo pants so I can showcase my Doc Martens. And then we're gonna throw on my A Choice Made Longevity cap. This is the brown colorway for the fall. This is a super casual fit and it's also a great outfit template to follow. So if you wanna switch it up, just swap out the jacket for any kind of jacket. It's going to look great. So yeah, those are just some fits I've been enjoying and I've also been enjoying shooting with this Canon R8 that I got from the Creator Kits, which you can get at Best Buy, the sponsor of today's video. Okay, so this whole entire setup right here, which is what I'm filming on and which I can show you right now, but I'll show B-roll, is the ultimate tool for content creators that want to step up their content game. Check me out. So this content creator kit right here, it holds the Canon EOS R8 and it comes with this versatile 24 to 50 zoom lens. It's everything you need to shoot those fit pics, TikToks, Reels, whatever content you're going to make, whether you're into fashion or not. I think this content creator kit is gonna change your content creation game. This camera body and lens combo is such a lightweight combination. It's easy to travel with and it's perfect for vlogs and run and gun shooting as well. Now, not only that, so this kit comes with a tripod slash selfie rig and a microphone so that you can get great audio, which is exactly what you're hearing right now. And you can orient this rig to shoot right now horizontally, YouTube style, but if you wanna shoot short form content, short form vlogs, get ready with me, 
knees, just anything vertical. All you gotta do is just adjust a few things and then you can mount the microphone vertically as well to get some high quality short form content. It's good stuff, man. I wish I had this content creator kit when I first got started. I would highly recommend this if you wanna create content. I mean, the new year is coming up. We are in the holiday season right now. This is the perfect gift for anyone that wants to become a creator. I'm jealous y'all have this now. Now, of course you need an SD card to shoot on this Canon camera. So that is why when you pick up this content creator kit, don't forget the SanDisk Extreme Pro. And this has the speed and reliability to capture and protect your projects. Again, this is the perfect holiday gift for creators. Or if you know someone that just enjoys shooting, whether that be portraits, fib pics, you can use this during weddings. It's an all around powerful camera and I've been enjoying using it. If you guys want to pick up the content creator kits and the SD card, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Right now, I actually have to pick up some furniture because I got to build out the rest of this studio. Let's go. Okay, so the problem is this outlet right here is smack dab right in the middle of my sets. And as you saw with the outfits earlier, the set's a tad bit boring, a little bit bland because I don't get as much light as I did in my old place. So we're going to step it up. We're going to build some things and really make the studio look nice. Alright, so this ain't bad, right? So we started off with adding these little snap floor planks right here. I really think it adds to the set. Plus, I don't like walking on carpet with shoes. I don't know how y'all be doing that. And this, I feel, really is going to add to the place, add to the studio. These are push drawers, by the way. I got all my caps in here. All you gotta do is just push it. It's going to open. I have extra camera gear in here. Very convenient stuff. Plus, if I put some cushions on here, it can turn into like a sort of you know, a little lounge area. I don't know, what do y'all think of this? I think it's going to help out with the entire set in general. So yeah, as you can see, outlets are still there. You can still see it, but that's fine because I wanted this on here so I can stack something or place something on here. So that'll just cover it up. And here's always a good rule of thumb for you guys if you guys wanna spruce up your space. You guys got your fits right because you guys watch my videos, but let's spruce up your space. So here's a simple tip. Follow the rule of threes, not the rule of thirds, like in fashion, rule of three. When it comes to design, just what I've learned. Things always look better in threes. So, let me stack one book on here. It just looks, eh. Two books, all right, looks pretty decent. Now we can add a third one, obviously, because I want to block the outlet. So this is just a lookbook from my jewelry design collection. Boom, we got three things right there. And I'm gonna show you up on here. Take a look at that. We got three little ceramic bases. Just a little pro tip for y'all, follow the rule of threes. All right, so let me give you guys a quick tour of the studio now. I feel like it's uh, pretty solid. Not done yet, but almost there. So starting right here, newspaper shredder, just some extra arts. I'm thinking about putting a plant right there because it looks a little empty. This is a little, look a little sparse, but we'll add some cushions in the future. Got the shelving unit. And then we have just some wall arts. I do wish I moved this a little bit so we can put two right here. Plants will always make your place look super nice. Uh, we got this huge light area here to light up the fits, the sets and all that. And then moving on over here, we have our clothing rack. This is just for my main jackets and stuff. I have a lot more clothing here. It's a walk-in closet, but it's just a huge mess right now. We got our filing cabinets. And then here is the main desk setup. And y'all gotta check out this monitor right here. This right here is the BenQ PD3220U. And this has completely changed how I feel my Content. I highly recommend this. You can pick this up at Best Buy as well. 32 inches of beauty. Check this out. So once you get your content creator kits, you can actually connect your Canon camera directly to this monitor right here. And let's just say you're shooting in outfits for TikTok, which I gotta do later. Well, you're gonna be like 10 feet across the room and you're not gonna be able to see if you're in focus or not with that tiny screen. So that is why once you connect it to this monitor, all you gotta do is push it up and rotate it so that it is vertical. You can see yourself in 32 inches and you can check if you're in focus or not. It just makes things a lot easier. This can be moved one-handed. And if you're shooting a regular horizontal video like I am right now, you can easily just rotate it back. Seriously, all monitors should have this feature. This BenQ monitor is so easy to use and I've just been loving it. And this also allows you to have a multiple creative workflows with different HDMI ports. And since I do all my work on a MacBook, this monitor actually has the perfect color consistency for Mac users. Also, another cool thing is this puck right here. These three buttons allow you to switch inputs 
instantly. So I can easily swap from editing something to if I have to shoot something else, I can just press one button. It'll instantly swap to my camera. I don't have to reconnect any cables or switch monitors. This is a thing of beauty. The color is perfect. And it's a pretty good looking monitor for your setup as well. This is another great gift for the holidays to yourself if you're a creator or just a Mac user. And like I said earlier, it's the holiday season. This is a great gift for a lot of people. So I'll also leave this down in the description and I wanna thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video. All right, y'all, now it's time to put the love seat. So yeah, this balcony is something I've been working on for a while. I feel like whenever people have balconies, they just have a, a table and chair. And that's a setup I've had in another place where I had a balcony. I never went out there. You're paying for this space. Might as well make it look nice in a place you want to actually chill at. So this is a work in progress right now. It's kind of messy still, but it's coming together, you know? So we got the same tiles I used indoors, but these are gray. And it's gonna lead up to this tree right here. All right, Joel, that's just been an update on my end. Some fall fits I've been enjoying and building out my studio and balcony. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this. And also if you guys want to see some more tips on sprucing up your space, making it look nice. There's a lot of similarities with fashion and interior design. And yeah, I want to thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video. And New Year's coming up, fellas. If you guys want to pick up the content creator kits, the monitor, SD card, I'm going to leave it all linked down in the description. Until then, stay fly. Deuces.